Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautifully clear hand sanitizing gel. Now before I get started, there's a couple of things I do need to make you aware of. There is unfortunately a lot of misinformation on the internet about how to make hand sanitizers. And what you really need to look for is formulas where they're using a broad spectrum material. For example, there's a lot of uh, example formulas out there with essential oils or extracts. Now these aren't broad spectrum enough to provide you with a proper hand sanitizing effect. While some essential oils, some herbal extracts can be effective against certain types of microorganisms, they're not effective enough to be called broad spectrum sanitizing agents. So it could give you a false sense of protection to use these essential oils or herbal extracts because they're simply not broad spectrum acting enough. You may also find they carry quite a strong aroma and can be irritating to the skin. The formula I'm going to show you today is with 70% ethanol. Again we see misinformation about using vodka or other spirits. I just want to draw your attention to the fact that those spirits are typically at best 40% alcohol which means you just can't get enough in your formula to give you a sanitizing effect. To be sanitizing it needs to be 70% ethanol otherwise you're not getting the broad spectrum action that you need out of a proper hand sanitizing product. Now there's a couple of other things I really need to draw your attention to before I show you how to make this product and that is this is highly flammable. I am using 100% ethanol, you might be able to get a 95% or a 99% ethanol, it's a highly flammable material. So make sure that all of your equipment is spark proof. Also, because we have 70% ethanol in the formula, it means it needs to be labelled appropriately because it is a dangerous good. You can't ship it via air, any transport needs to be done by road and your product needs to be labelled appropriately because it is a flammable product. This here is 70% ethanol, it's a flammable good. I need to label it appropriately and of course your label requirements will depend on where you are so you will need to check that and make sure you're labeling your product appropriately. Finally a hand sanitizing agent is regulated differently around the world so you may be making a product that isn't considered a cosmetic and instead is considered a drug and needs to be made by a GMP or appropriately licensed manufacturing facility. So with all of these cautions in mind, I'm now going to show you how to make this product. As an example, this is the ethanol I'm using. You can see it's 100%. Like I say, you might be able to get a 95% or a 99%, but we are talking about a very pure ethanol grade. Now I have here some water and some propane diol. I'm using the propane diol because it's a humectant. Um, glycerin can feel a little tacky on the skin. So I'm using the propane diol to help give some humectancy uh, and softness back to the skin because ethanol can be very drying. Now I'm just going to mix these first into my ethanol, that was my ethanol measured out there. Just a gentle stir and then I'm going to start mixing this under low shear. Now to this I'm going to add some Sepimac Zen. There are other polymers you can use, Carbapol Ultras 21 is also very good in a hand sanitizing gel. Uh, I'm using the Sepimac Zen simply because it's a real fail safe material. I could add some other materials to this formula, I could add some betaine, uh, I could add some aloe vera for marketing claims, also to add some extra softness to my formula. The Sepimac Zen will handle just about anything you want to put in there. Uh, with the Carbapol, just remember you would actually need to add the Carbapol to the water first. You need to make sure it disperses evenly in the water, then you can add your ethanol and then you can neutralize it. The reason I'm using the Sepimac Zen too, uh, I don't have to worry about a neutralizing step like I would if I was using a Carbapol. 
Just remember if you are using a carbomer or similar material that there's some grades that aren't particularly soluble with ethanol. They'll actually form a, a little polymeric ball when you add the ethanol. They're just not compatible with the ethanol. So speak with your polymer supplier about grades that will be compatible with the 70% ethanol that we need in this solution. Now we just mix this uh, in a large mixing vessel. We would mix this for a few hours. In the lab, we don't have to mix it as long, but we just need to make sure that we're dispersing and allowing this polymer to fully hydrate so that it forms our beautiful gel. And here we are after about an hour of mixing in the lab, so a few hours in a large vessel, and you'll find that your polymer disperses really easily. There's still a few little clumps of polymer that just need to finish hydrating, about another half hour or so mixing in the lab, and we'll have our sanitizing gel finished. Now we can just check and adjust our pH. Now for this product, again, because I'm using the Sepimax material, uh, it's very electrolyte tolerant. So we can adjust this pH to whatever we want. I'm gonna make this 5.5 to 6. And here we have our beautiful clear sanitizing hand gel. A beautiful gel viscosity. Well there you go, that's how to make a sanitizing hand gel. Just remember those very important points. It is a flammable substance. You are working with a flammable material and sanitizing products are regulated differently around the world. So make sure you comply with your local regulations. Also just remember that herbal extracts, essential oils are not considered broad spectrum acting enough to be true sanitizing agents. You need 70% ethanol to give you a proper sanitizing effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below. Make sure you contact us for the free formula. We're happy to provide it for you so that you can get making more sanitizing gels. And make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.